few months ago, I made a video seeing how many coins I could make in one hour in FIFA 21. And I said if it got a thousand likes, I'd do another video seeing how many coins I could make in 24 hours. So the other day, I stayed up for 24 hours straight seeing how many coins that I could make in FIFA 21. And in this video, I'll be showing you exactly how I got on. The rules are pretty simple. I can play games, I can trade, I can do pretty much whatever I want. It's pretty much me just playing FIFA for 24 hours. I'll be starting off with 100,000 coins and seeing how many I can make after the 24 hours. Will it be 1k, 2k, 100k, maybe even 200, 300k? We'll have to find out the boys. The time is currently 8.50. How did, how did that get there? Like and subscribe, weird, really weird. 8.59 on the 20th of May. So this is how my team's looking in FIFA 21 at the minute, and it's looking pretty spicy if you ask me. We've got just shy of 100,000 coins, and the aim over the next 24 hours is to trade straight and see how much we can make after the 24 hours is done. So the clock has just struck 9 a.m. Thursday morning. I, I think it's time to, I think it's time to get into it, the boys. Just whilst I jump over to the transfer market, Leds, this video is obviously sponsored by Meal Factory. If you wanna go and buy yourself any cheap FIFA 21 coins, make sure to click the link in the description and head over to Meal Factory. Use the code LE5CHEAP at checkout to get yourself a discount. But this is gonna be a long, long day, man. So the first trading method that I'm gonna be using is I'm gonna be going over to Gold Rare, I'm gonna be going over to Shadow, I'm gonna find the average minimum price, which I've set at the minute to around 2.4K, and I'm gonna search up on the market. Now this method is really, really good. I've I've spoken about this method quite a few times, lads. So what you need to do is you need to find the average minimum price of pretty much everything on the market that's got a Shadow Chem style applied to it. Search up onto the market, which is around 2.2K. You search up and then you see if you can find yourself any deals. And we've just found ourselves a Chelsea Tamori who is out of packs and has been for a while. So I'm hoping that that's gonna be a decent deal. But as you can see, the average minimum at the minute is around 2.2K there or thereabouts. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna keep searching up and buying a load of players. Mainly you wanna be going for low end meta players when you do this, defenders, midfielders, whatever it may be. And then I'm gonna try and flip them on for a profit, but we've got around 100,000 coins to start with, first and foremost, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start the challenge, I'm gonna go away, buy as many players as I can do, and then we'll check back in and, I don't even know how this is gonna work, you know. I wasn't sleeping. I was dreaming about success. So lads, it is currently half past 10, 10 at 28 as you can see. It's taken me an hour and a half to spend 100,000 coins. Don't know how. However though boys, this is all of the players that we do have. Now every player that you see on here, I have paid maximum 2.4k for. So at the bare minimum with this method, what I do is if I can't sell them for say a really, really huge amount, I just list them up at 2.8k for as long as possible. However, we've actually got some really, really good deals chilling in here. We've got our Danilo Pereira. Uh, I think it was around 2,000 coins there or thereabouts. Really, really good deal there. In addition to that, I've got more Tamoris. I've got some Renato Sanchez's. I've got a bear Bailey as well. I've got a Forden, I've got an Ake. I'm trying to think of the best ones that I can show you. Probably oh, 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 oh. He isn't too bad to be honest. He really, really isn't too bad. Going on the market at the minute for around 3,000 coins without anything applied onto him and I've got him at 2,000 coins. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and list all this stuff up and then just go about with my day to be honest. So get starting on Div Rivals and then once I've played Div Rivals, I'll come back and then I'll just see how much I've got. But like I said, I will be playing games throughout all this because if I just sit here and trade all day for the 24 hours, I'll get kicked off the market and I can't be bothered risking a ban. All right, lads, I have played three Division Rivals games. I have won two and I have lost one. However, some of our things on the transfer market have sold on, but some are expiring pretty soon. So as you can see, this is everything that I've sold on for here. If you see anything at 2.5K, it's because the deal was so good. I just wanted to get it on so I could get more coins. So I've got 67,000 coins at the minute. The time at the minute is currently half past 11. So I've been playing Div Rivals for about an hour and I think this is probably how I'm going to do it for the whole 24 hours because why the hell not so on the list now I need to go through buy some more cards and then I'm hoping at that point we can get up the tiniest bit more and then start to go into specials or something like that obviously I'm going to be streaming today as well so I'll probably put some clips in of that but gonna go away buy some more cards and we'll just see where we end up boys 12 minutes past 12 now 
I've got a part 29 different cards. I've got some bangers in here as well. I've got one to show you, and it's actually a sick deal. Gunter, 950 coins. Beautiful, beautiful scenes. In addition to that as well, I've got just the usual suspects. To be honest, it's sort of turning into Soko Simulator at the minute, 1,500 there. I've got a Militao at 2,500 coins, who should be going for a little sutting sutting. He's, he's always used for icon swap subjectives or something. So, plan is, get all these listed on. Go and play more Div Rivals games and then come back. I'll show you the transfer list at the minute. This is how everything's getting on. We've sold 20 things. To be honest, I think we're making okay time. I I'm sort of glad that I'm playing the Div Rivals games in between because if I was just doing trading, oh, no chance. No chance. I mean, the video is called How Many Coins Can You Make in 24 Hours In It? So it is what it is. It is what it is. So I need to go and list all them cards up and more Div Rivals for me. Can't wait. Cannot wait. Let's go, boys. Let's go. So to not risk sending you all asleep whilst you watch this video, I'll commentate this next part. So I went through and did more trading with gold chem style players. Now this method is ridiculous. It is so, so good if you're on a low budget. And if anything, I'd probably say it's the best low budget trading method in FIFA 21. Four o'clock came around, which meant that I had to do my rewards day live stream. And after that, I had to take about an hour to two hour break just to catch up with some admin stuff, get some food and prepare for the night ahead. All right, so I've just literally finished up my live stream. The light is going to start going in here, yeah, and I'm also going to have to start talking a bit quieter as it gets later and later. However, at the minute, it's only half past six, so we are nine and a half hours into this challenge. As you'll be able to see, more and more things are selling on, which is really, really good. Now, the reason why I'm checking in here is because I want to go in on silvers. Now, when we get high supply from marquee matchups, you can actually buy loads of silver players who are needed for League SBCs, sell them on for a profit like later on in the night or the next day. And I think this is probably a good time to do it more than ever. I have got myself a couple of other deals as well. So what I think I'm going to do, I'll, I'll, well, I can give you an overall sort of view of the method. However, just before we go any further, I've started trading with individual players. So now I've started trading with players who I know go for a decent amount. Like a lot of these players, they're not popping up at 2.5k anymore. So I think we're going to start moving into that method and doing the silvers as well So I think that's something to bear in mind as you get more coins You need to move into different areas as much as you can do So we'll go to the transfer market now Like I said when we get supply from marquee matchups a lot of silver players do come down in price because we get like silver packs and Anything that sort of gives silvers out. So this is a really really good method to do So I'm going to give you a filter straight off the bat if you go over to say I don't know go over to the Premier League go over to Leeds for example now Leeds have got 11 players who you need for the league SBC. So this is a really, really good one to do this with and just set it to silver. As you'll be able to see that loads of players are popping up at the minute, but what I'm going to try and do is get a lot of these for minimum price. Wait till they go up a bit when people start doing league SBCs again with Serie A team of the season coming tomorrow and then try to sell them on for a profit. But you can see here that there's a center back there at 1.1k and then as soon as the supply starts to dry up, this card could potentially go up to like 2k, 3k, whatever it may be and go back to his original price before 6pm. So I'm going to go up, load up on a load of silvers and I'm just going to go from there. But I'll check back in once I've got them silvers for you. Alright, let's. so it has been some time. I think it has been like maybe 2 or 3 hours as you can see. Just about 21.56 it says on there. But... I've not really done too much to be honest. So I've gone through and picked up myself loads of gold cards who have got shadows on them. I'm going to sell them on at some point and I've also picked up loads and loads and loads and loads of silvers as you can see here. Now with that silver method what I do is I go through all the filters that I've already got. So if you do want to know what the filters are, just take a look at this and just try and go around that. When we get good supply, these can usually go for a pretty decent amount. So like this, for example, this Godfrey I've got at 1.3k. Still chilling at 1.3k. Hopefully it'll dry up going into the night. Got Obafemi at 900 coins who, from what I can see, is... Well, he's at 4.5k. Do you know what I mean? Like, we're not doing so bad on some of them. We've got a concert, 1.3, who's 1.7. Like, sometimes they go up loads, sometimes they don't go up too much. Got this guy at 1,000 coins, he's still at 1,000 coins. Do you know what I mean? It's going to take some time to get them to sort of dry up a bit, but I'm hoping that I can get them sold on by the morning. And I've still got loads of gold chem style cards as well. So, we've not done too bad, to be honest. I have taken a short break, I'm not going to lie. So, in terms of things that have sold on the transfer list, as you'll be able to see, I've got 19 things sold on. And I've got how many cards left? Probably like a page or two left. Ah, a page and a half left, so not so bad. So we're just past the halfway mark now, so I think we're, we're doing all right anyway. We genuinely are doing all right. I'm going to get all these relisted and hopefully they do sell. If not, I'll sell them into the night. <sighs> 
I've got a big night ahead of me. I don't know where I'm going to be when I next see you. Maybe when some stuff's sold on. Could be in the middle of the night. Could be tomorrow morning. Not got a clue. Oh, also, just, just allow the lighting in here as well. This is terrible. Terrible. All right, lads. So, it is the tiniest bit later now. So, it is currently quarter past 12 at night. You can't really see, but tr trust me, it... It is, it is. Obviously, we've had to bring the lights down just the tiniest, tiniest bit because it's, it's a tiny bit later now, tiny bit later. However, I've been carrying on trading with all the gold cam style stuff and obviously the silver stuff as well. Let's keep my voice down, people. You know how it is. However, a lot of the methods that we've had are slowing up. I'm going to be completely honest because the market isn't as active anymore. So I think what I'm going to start to do is probably do some trading with specials. I think the next time that you see me genuinely will be a good few hours later because as you can see we have got so many things that need to sell on i need to revise some of these prices on here i need to just keep churning coins out as much as i can if that means that i have to sell some things for a loss or break even then so be it because realistically i need to keep these coins just ticking over my plan is now is i'm going to just try and do as much trading as i can do do some special card trading and then maybe just stick a film on and just carry on trading so realistically the next time that you see me will be deep into the night deep deep into the night so yeah, if, honestly, if this doesn't deserve a like, I don't know what does. Just, just drop a like on this video, man. Now, a lot of the time when I make trading videos, it's really easy for me to sit here and be like, look, this is so easy. I bought, sold, made loads of coins. But as the night crept in, everything just went from bad to worse. I slowly but surely started losing my mind overnight as things didn't sell on which then meant that i had even less coins to trade with and at three in the morning it's literally the last thing that i wanted i started considering whether or not it was even worth me uploading this video genuinely i was sat there thinking what am i actually doing with my life how has it come after 25 years of being on this earth that I am sat here at 3 in the morning trying to make coins on FIFA and I literally cannot do it. I continued to play more and more games and over the course of this whole challenge I actually ended up playing around 20 games of Division Rivals. Stupid amount. By the early hours of the morning I'd completely lost my head and if I'm being completely honest I probably should have stopped but the one thing that kept me going was you watching this video. The idea of getting this video out was the main thing that pushed me on to complete this challenge and honestly I really really did not enjoy myself during those early hours of the morning it was horrible. So it is, oh, what time is it now? I don't even know. 20 past seven, 20 past seven. As soon as I'm done trading, honestly, I'm jumping in bed. I'll record the outro later on. Let's, I, I have to keep it pretty low down, obviously. So I've been selling on a lot of the silver stuff and I've been selling on the gold chem style stuff as well. And I've got into specials. I've got into specials. So I'll show you really quickly the method that I'm using at the minute. So if you just go over to transfer market, special, 9,500, 15, 16K. And then refreshing this, set it to shadow, jump over to the 59th and basically any cars that get listed up on the 59th, I'm trying to get them, but it's really, really hard because the market is just so up and down. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go through and I'm going to, I don't even know what I'm going to do. Just sit here do some trading for like an hour play some games i'm ready trust me i'm ready for bed i'm i'm ready for bed at this point i don't even care how many coins i've made i, I went through a phase where i just lost my mind to be honest with you and the delirium of not sleeping had set in all right lads it is currently 20 to 9 and I'm calling it here, the boys. I am calling it here. I am on my last legs. I've just gone and picked up a few deals. I've just gone and got a goal since for like 35k, going for like 42, I think. But I'm struggling to even concentrate on what I'm doing at the minute. I'm not used to this, man. I got an Elvedi as well at like 16k and a Militao at 30k. He's going for about, I think, 35, 
40, something like that. I don't even know anymore. I should be able to see this is what the transfer list is looking like. It's a bit all over the place at the minute. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go and get some sleep. I'm going to come back and hopefully have everything sold on. That's going to be the main plan anyway. And then I'm just going to go from there, to be honest. If I can make like 100,000, 200,000, maybe even 300,000 coins from doing all this, I'm happy. I cannot lie. So I'm going to go away, get everything sorted. And I'll be back once I know what day it is. Alright lads, so it is a few days later now, it's actually Sunday now, I finished recording and doing everything on Friday and I've not been on FIFA since, I've been waiting for everything to sell on, however, there's a couple of things that we need to talk about, I tell you what, let's have the grand reveal in 3, 2, 1, there you go boys, I have managed to make myself I think just shy of around 340,000 coins in 24 hours. Now that amount there is slightly suspect, we will run through everything, but as you'll be able to see, everything has sold on, some stuff has sold on for a loss, I don't care, I honestly do not care. I'm really happy with how much I've managed to make in 24 hours. Will I be doing this challenge again though? Yeah, there's no way, <laughs> there's no way that I'm doing another one of these. Unless we get 2,000 likes. What? Who said that? However, you can see that pretty much everything is sold on, and I'm pretty sure that I've even still got some things chilling in my club. If I go over to silver, go over to the advanced fields, and go over to newest, I'm pretty sure that I've got one or two things still in my club. Yeah, I have that I bought the other day that I've not even sold on yet. Like this guy, I can make a K on that one. However, I'm not going to include that because there's a couple of things that we need to talk about. So from the foot champions rewards that I opened on stream the other day, I actually managed to get myself around 30,000 coins from that. So there are thereabouts. We are going to take away around 30,000 coins for that amount at the top so we've made 410,000 in total which would be still 310,000 coins which is pretty decent. In addition to all the trading that we did over that time period I went through and played myself 20 games of division rivals. Now you can't actually see but Please believe me that I played 20 games. It says here that I've played 25 games, but I've already played five games of foot champions for this weekend, so that's just slightly off. In addition to that as well, I'd had a two hour break. So for the 20 games of Div Rivals, that comes to five hours if we're averaging say 15 minutes per game, which is usually what it is. I know it's 12 minutes, but let's just say it's 15 minutes for ease. So there's five hours there. I took a two hour break there or thereabouts throughout the day. So from the 24 hours, take away the seven hours there, which then leaves us with around 17 hours total trading time the 410,000 coins which we'd made over that 24 hour period then goes down to 17 hours and then per hour means that we were making just shy of 25,000 coins per hour from all the trading that we were doing now if I was going to do this again, there's a couple of things that I'd do differently. I think realistically, I would probably go on a fresh account, completely fresh account so I could do SBCs. I'd play the full 30 games because that was the one thing that was keeping me going overnight was playing the games and sort of keeping my mind active because when you're trading, you saw I, I fell asleep and like, it's too hard to keep on top of it. I'd also try and find different trading methods to do overnight because when this gold chem style method stopped working overnight and the silvers weren't selling on and the specials weren't even popping up, it was really, really hard to make coins overnight on Xbox so I'd need to find a method that works in those really dull periods because I can't do that honestly I can't do that and realistically I think the final thing that I would probably do differently if I was to do it again would be use different players and maybe try and focus on individuals the times a bit more rather than just the general filter because the general filter is good but there's just quite a lot of competition on it so 310,000 coins made in 24 hours don't get me wrong it's not the best amount in the world but I'm happy with it and I actually went through and did it and we've got a video out of it so say what you want I honestly don't care let's if there's someone out there who thinks that they can do better than me by all means you go through for 24 hours make a video out of it and I'll respond to it I tell you, there you go I'll respond to it so if you think you can do better boys you know what to do. But Leds, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know down in the comment section if there's any other challenges that you want to see me do. Even if they are 24 hour challenges, I'll definitely consider them. But I think that's where I'm going to be wrapping this video up. I, yeah, I, I'm I'm fairly happy. I can't lie, the boys. I'm fairly happy. But Leds, this has been Ellie96Z. This has been my 24 hour trading challenge. I've definitely got some decent clips for the clips channel. Link in the description. But Leds, that's where I'm going to be wrapping this video up. Hope you boys did enjoy. If you did, drop a like on it. Comment down below if you need help with anything. Subscribe if you are new. But it's Betty Six, Lewis, and I am off. Goodbye.